This week we're going to look at performing arithmetic in a shell program. We'll start off by examining the syntax and then talk about some of the limitations of mathematics in the bash programming language. Let's jump right in and get started. We'll begin by writing a simple echo statement to tell us the value of 2 plus 2. We write the echo statement as usual. Put any text we want to print out verbatim in double quotes. And then we'll begin an arithmetic operation by writing a dollar sign and two open parentheses. Inside these two open parentheses, we can type our calculation and then close it with two closed parentheses. We'll go ahead and close our quotation mark too. This looks a lot like the syntax we used when we wanted to display the output of a command in bash. To execute a command inside of an echo statement, we would use a dollar sign and a single open parentheses. For arithmetic, we use the dollar sign and two open parentheses. These look similar, but they are not the same, so don't get them mixed up. Now we'll run our script and see the actual output. The command prints 2 plus 2 is 4 to the screen, just as we would expect. We did addition here, but we could also do multiplication, division, exponentiation, and a handful of other basic math operations. Your reading assignment for this week includes a chart that shows all of the bash arithmetic operators. It's important to note that bash will only do integer arithmetic, so any decimal portion of a result will be discarded, and decimal operands are not allowed. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to do floating point arithmetic, you will have to either use another language or take advantage of a command like bc. That's beyond the scope of today's video though, so we're not going to go into that right now. Most of the time, you'll probably be using variables in your calculations instead of just typing in a few numbers directly. Let's see how we would do that. I'm going to write a simple script that will calculate a person's birth year based on their age. To start that process, I'm going to store the current year in a variable. I could do that by directly assigning 2015 to a variable, but it makes more sense to use the date command. I'll write current year equals dollar sign open parentheses date space plus quotation mark percent y close quotation mark close parentheses. The plus percent y gives the date a format string that tells it to only give us the current year instead of the lengthy date that it outputs by default. That plus sign doesn't have anything to do with arithmetic in bash. It's just a coincidence that the date command uses that. Next I'll get the user's age using the read command. I'll use the dash p parameter to give a short prompt and store the result in a variable named age. Now we'll calculate the user's birth year by subtracting their age from the current year. I'll create a new variable called birth year and use my arithmetic expression syntax to calculate the value. One important thing to note here. When I refer to a variable inside of the double parentheses, I don't have to put the dollar sign in front of it. I, it will still work if you do, but this can make your arithmetic expressions a lot cleaner. Now that we've done our calculations, we'll output the result to the screen. Now we do need to use the dollar sign in front of the variable name. We'll have one more calculation in our output string since we don't know if the user was born before or after the current date of the year. Let's look at our script in action now. It gives us a prompt, does the calculations, and outputs the result. Just what we wanted. There's one more thing I want to show you before we end this video, and that's how Bash will handle integer division. 
I'm going to execute these commands directly in the prompt to make it easier to isolate what they are doing, but they will behave the same way in a script file. First, I'm going to divide 5 by 2. It's easy enough to figure it out in our heads. The answer is 2.5. But when we do this in bash, the answer it gives us is 2. Remember, bash only does integer arithmetic. Decimal portions of the result are discarded. There's another operator, though, that allows us to get a little more information out of our division operation. The modulus operator will tell us, if the, tell us the size of our remainder. Instead of saying that 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half, we could say that it is 2 with 1 left over. I can do this calculation by using the percent sign. I'm going to recall my previous command and change the division to a percent. Bash tells me that the remainder of 5 divided by 2 is 1. This will come in quite handy in a few different situations, so it's an important concept to remember. That's everything you need to know to get started with arithmetic in the shell. Good luck!